Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today is a rainy day and I'm still a little bit sick so I decided that I'm going to share with you guys um, how I meal prep Ali's dog food. So Ali is my Woodle, he's a Wheaton Terrier Poodle mix and I do make him human food that I do mix in with his regular dog food that I do buy from um, Petco. Uh, he's very picky when it comes to dog food. We've tried to change it a million times. He just will refuse uh, to eat fully. You want to say hi to everyone? <laughs> he refuses to eat his dog food on its own, so I always have to mix something in. And this is just easy and convenient for the both of us because it lasts us for a whole month, right, mister? You like your dog food? I know. So... Uh, I make it in the Instant Pot, it's super easy, it takes me 30 minutes uh, to cook in the Instant Pot, then I just prep them, put them in the freezer, and call it a day. So if you guys are interested in seeing my recipe for dog food um, that I make for Ollie, then keep on watching. Of course, this doesn't work for everyone, please don't judge me for feeding my dog human food. Um, if you choose to feed your dog human food or just dog food, that's totally great and up to you. You make your own choices. It's your dog. Ali is my dog, so this is the choice I make for him. So let's get right into it. So let's get started. These are all the items you're going to need. Some carrots, some oatmeal, some rice. You can also use brown rice, but I feel this cooks faster. Some sweet potato, I use two and cut them up. And then some chicken legs. And I use two packs for this. So you're gonna wanna peel and cut your potatoes. You don't have to cube them into small pieces. This is totally enough. So we're going to pop that right into the Instant Pot. And then we're gonna add our oats our rice, some carrots. I pretty much did half a bag. Sometimes I do a whole bag. It really depends. And then doing the chicken legs, just putting them fully in. So that's all the items in the Instant Pot. I do leave the skin and everything on because I will take it off later. I just find it easier that way. Now just adding some water, just make sure that everything is fully covered. Then setting up my Instant Pot, you want to make sure that it's sealed. And I'm putting this on high pressure, manual, for 30 minutes. Mama's making you some dog food. You're gonna be excited to eat? I know you're hungry. Yeah? Are you a hungry boy all the time? <laughs> you gotta wait 30 minutes though, okay? 30 minutes and then mama will feed ya. Sit. Paw. Paw. Give me paw. Give me paw. Thank you. Give me other paw. <laughs> High five. Good boy. Give me paw. Good boy. Thank you. So as this starts cooking and smelling really good, this guy gets so impatient and just starts whining and crying because he can't wait. Smells good, huh? So now this is what it looks like all cooked. 
Um, it does have a little bit of water, but I'm totally fine with that. I find it easier to mix with his dog food after everything is mashed up. He was super hungry, so I had to feed him first. So I usually take this amount and I add it to one cup of his dog food. And then I just mix it all together. And that is his meal of the day. You ready to eat? Bon appetit! Was it good? Did you like your food? I think so. <laughs> you want to come say thank you to Mama? Come here. Or not. Now for this, because we cooked it with the skin, I do want to take all the skin and bones out from the chicken and then we're just going to put it into these meal prep containers. And usually I make four to six and one will last him for the week because I mix it with his dog food. So he's ready with his food for a good amount of time. Now I'm just dividing the rest, making sure I get rid of any bones, any of the fatty skin, um, anything that I don't want in there, and just um, putting them into containers so I can freeze them, and this will last me a full month. Alright, so we have one, two three, four, and five. This one will be for the rest of the week, and these four will last me for a month. So I would say in total, this probably takes me about like 45 minutes. Um, I do let it cool down a little bit though before I, you know, start dividing them because you will burn your fingers. And then I just pop it into my freezer, and every week I take one out, and um, it's his food for the week. I just mix it with his dog food um, to make sure he gets the nutrients from there too, but I also like to feed him home cooked food. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys try out this recipe, me and Ali would love to know if you love it just as much as he does, right mister? You want to know if everybody likes the dog food mama makes you? He just wants to play. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye.